G'day, um, Mr. Kingston, and Mr. Davies, and all the regulars. Here's my attempt at a keynote. So over the last eight or nine years of my Hutchins School experience, I've realised that there's one thing that separates our great school from the others, and that is our ticker. Now, for those of you who don't know what ticker is, um, it's a word that gets thrown around the footy field and the schoolyard a fair bit, and it's a substitute for, have, for giving something a red-hot go or having a crack at something that you're not too confident with. If you've known me for long enough, you'll know that this happens to be one of my favourite words and one that gets a daily mention in my vocabulary. Now, I come from a farm up in the southern Midlands that grows sheep, cattle and a variety of crops. And if there's one thing I've learned from that, it's that you need a good bit of ticker if anything is going to get done in a reasonable fashion. Um, here we go. So one of those examples would be my father. He's up most mornings before many of the international boarders have got out of their beds, fixing busted machines um, and chasing up workers for the day ahead, which I reckon requires a good bit of ticker. These sacrifices of warm sleep-ins and long hours on the job have made me realise the importance of having good work ethic, which is where Hutchins comes in. When I first got here, spelling wasn't one of my strong points, still isn't for that matter, but with a lot, lot of ticker from Mr Little setting the weekly words for us, we managed to scrape through. This determination and grit that many of the staff at Hutchins demonstrate shows why this shows why this school, I believe, has such good ticker. Whether it be Miss Pattis marking countless essays during her, vac her vacations when she should be taking time for herself, or Huey and the maintenance staff getting all the big events packed up for us, this is why I believe this school has great ticker. You'll also find ticker in the small areas of the school, such as the boarding house, where the cleaning staff, led by Sharon and Jazz, work tirelessly to ensure rooms like Bucky's stay at least semi-presentable and livable all year round. This school's boarding house, I tend to find, has some of the best ticker you'll find this side of Jeeveston, and I think that this is not talked about enough. The characters you tend to meet whilst living in this confined community shape you into the person that you'll become at the end of your schooling run. Of course, not all of these people you'll meet, you'll connect with and become lifelong friends, which I reckon is a lot more valuable teacher than many believe. It teaches you to stick around those people and associate with those people who are going to help you get through the tough bits of your school run. Um, ooh. So this, this sort of ticker is the stuff that the boarding house loves. Realistically, the experiences you get in boarding are like no other. Take the snowfall we had a couple of weeks ago, for example. A few of the students with the big rigs headed up Mount Wellington to load the trays full of snow to bring back down to the borders, um, bring back down to the boarding house where we'd, we played with the snow all night until the fingers were numb and we'd run out of snow. You just don't get that sort of experience every day. And that is the sort of thing that builds the great community we have at the boarding house. Now, I could keep telling you how good the boarding house's ticker is until the cows come home, but I think we'll wrap it up here. But obviously it wouldn't be a proper keynote unless I left you with one final message. And that is, don't wait around for others to get what you want in life done. Have a crack yourself and don't worry about getting it wrong because we're all only human and having a bit of ticker is the best way to live your life. Thank you.